Welcome to another episode of The Drawing Board. This time is going to be quite different. This is not live and we're shooting outdoors. And the reason for that is because today I'm going to be showing a technique that requires a little bit of chemicals and I want to make sure it's well ventilated. Um, what I'm going to do is actually show you how to do an acetone transfer so that if you know maybe your hand-eye coordination isn't there all the way, you can still draw, you can still at least transfer image and then you can paint over it or color over it with watercolor or color pencil. Um, so what you will need today is tracing paper um, that comes in either rolls or sheets. I just ripped off like two pieces. Um, you need like a rag, uh, an image that you want to use. You could either print out an image or take something from a magazine or something. Um, and of course you need acetone. Um, in my case here, I'm just I just have some nail polish remover, which the main ingredient is acetone. You want to do this outdoors, uh, ventilated. Um, it does kind of smell, so you want to make sure you're in a place where there's good ventilation. And you know, you know, do this at your own risk. You know, obviously, I don't want you to do too much of it. And, you know, get sick from the chemical or anything like that. I'm gonna get started. The picture today that I'm gonna be working with. It's an old sketch that I want to uh, transfer. Now I should note that the image will get flipped. So if you have something like text uh, or something that will look awkward when it's backwards, you will need to do a few extra steps. Uh, namely, you could either flip the image in Photoshop before printing it out, or you could trace it twice. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to cut away for a second to show you how to flip the image beforehand if you want to do that so that your picture does not come out backwards. So what you're going to do is go to Photoshop, you're going to open the image that you want to use, in which case it is this one here. And it's pretty straightforward. You go to image, image rotation, and you're going to go flip canvas horizontal. And there you have you have the image flipped, and uh, I'm also going to show you how to do this in Microsoft Paint, which is a free software if you have nothing else to work with. So I'm going to go and open the file again. This one here. Go to rotate, flip horizontally, and boom, there you have it. Your image is flipped, and now you could go back and print it and trace it. Okay, now back to the acetone transfer. Okay, so I'm going to trace over this. I'm going to trace over this image. And you want an inky pen for this. And just kind of slowly tracing over this. This is just an old sketch out of my sketchbook. And I don't really, I don't think I ended up using it for anything, so just using it as an example. You could also grab things out of a magazine, print out pictures that you like off the internet or something, and draw that if that's more of your preference. Today's particular lesson is more about the technique, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to actually the drawing here but more of the steps to transfer image. And I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching here. And I want to put the ink, I want to lay the ink a little bit thicker on here than I normally would because some of it is going to get lost when you transfer. So it's okay to have a little bit darker. Okay, so now we have the image. Um, the image is going to get flipped around. If you don't want to flip around, what you want to do is take this image, flip it upside down, and then layer another one on top and then retrace it. So that's like if you have something like words on it and you don't want the words to be flipped around. But for the purposes of this image, because it doesn't really matter which way it is, I'm gonna just go go ahead and just do this first one. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it on here. And you want to be very careful not to uh, move it too much once you place it down. In fact, let me get my, uh, my acetone ready first. So I'm going to pour a little bit of acetone. Well, actually, I'm going to pour the rest of the acetone here. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this image over. And you want to be very careful not to move it around too much because it might smudge. Now this, what I'm using is tracing paper, so it's kind of transparent. Uh, but if you were using white printer paper and an image that you printed out, you'll notice that the parts that transfer through are way more transparent. I'm just basically going to blotch this and let's see how it looks. So there you have it. You have the image. And, you know, I laid it on a little thick, but, you know, you could go back and you can draw on it a little bit more. Or you could take some colors, some watercolor or a color pencil, and kind of paint over it. So there you have it. If you have trouble drawing something exactly as you see it, you can use some tracing paper, trace over it, and then use some acetone to transfer it onto uh, drawing paper, watercolor paper, canvas, what have you. And then you can continue to use that as a template to paint over it and color it and do whatever else you want to add. Hopefully you'll find this technique useful. Again, I would do this outdoors because the smell from this is really strong. Um, and yeah, hopefully this is useful. Um, if you are interested in more, you can check out my videos. Um, and. You can also go to my website to see some of my artwork and what I've done. It's www.fugly.com. And uh, there's also, I'll put some other link for other video content that may be useful. So that's it. See you next time.